Amen. 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 Okay. Um, scripture reading. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, the scripture reading today comes from Psalms 1. Psalms chapter 1. How many of us got it memorized? The whole thing. The whole thing? Yeah. The whole thing? Yeah, it's a good scripture to memorize. Psalms chapter 1. Blessed is the man. Right. We have the sinners. That's it? <laughs> we'll say it by heart when we do I had a senior mom. Okay. I know. Oh, good. Thanks, guys. Oh, good. Good. All right. Uh, uh, let's let's begin. Uh, okay, people are still turning. Ready? Okay, let's begin. I'll read the first verse and then you read uh, the second and so on until we get to verse 6. We'll read verse 6 together. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his life is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doeth he meditate day and night. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruits in its season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like a child who is away from the right of the way. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. Altogether, verse 6. The Lord knoweth the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. The Lord have add blessings to the reading of his word. At this time, um, Brother Mark is not here. So uh, anyone want Brother uh, Jeff will lead us to the throne of grace. Amen. At this time, uh, if anybody would like to come to the altar and kneel, this be your time. If not, just stand and bow your head. Let's go to the throne. Most holy and ever loving Father, Lord, once again, you've endowed us another year. Another first Sunday of another year, Lord, we thank you. And we invite you in this, in this house today, Lord. We invite you in to say we need you, dear Father. We need you in a mighty way to, to help us through another year. We thank you for making it. We know some started this year with us and not here. But we thank you, Lord, for, for you bringing us here and giving us the, the means to lift our arms and, and our hands to you, Lord, to just say thank you. Thank you for another year. Now, Lord, we, we ask your presence upon this day. We ask you to bless the preacher as he brings forth the word. Prepare our hearts to receive it. And then, Lord, help us to be, to be your doers this year. Yes. Help us to, to learn to trust you. Yes. Help us learn to lean on you. Yes. Help us to, 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 to be a better example for you, Lord, to, to invite people into your kingdom and, and just let them know that, that you died for us. You died for us, dear Father, because of the love you have for us. Help us to love you back. Help us to know that all we need is through you. We thank you for our children, Lord. We lift our children up to you this year, Lord, and, and pray that you put a special protection on their lives, dear Father. And help us to be examples that they can look up to to, to know that, that there is a God. Sometimes, Lord, we give them, a, we give them this, this confusion mind. And, and Lord, help us to be stable. And help us to, to look to you and know that if we trust you, you're going to bring us through. Yes. Lord, we know every day won't be good. 
We know every day will be easy. But help us to always know that, that you do have our back. Yeah. Help us to know that whatever we're going through, it's for your glory. Yeah. And help us to trust you in it. Yes, Lord. Lord, we ask you to touch our pastor this year and, and keep him in good health. We ask you to touch his wife and his family. Yeah. And then, Lord, we just lift Midtown up as a whole, dear Father. We pray that this church be a church that you're pleased with. Yeah. Help us to be on one accord, Lord, and help us to love you. Help us to do what you want us to do this year, Lord. Go to the streets and take it to the highways, Lord, and help us to do the things you've called us to do. Yeah. We thank you. We praise you. We bless your name, Lord. We trust in you yeah. that you're going to bring us through this year as you brought us through this year. We pray for our loved ones, Lord, that's out of, out of your will, dear Father. Help us to somehow reach them through word, through deed. Just help us to, to, to make you real this year, Father. Yeah time out for playing and, and it's me Andrew and Lord help us to get our hands to the plow and not look back yes. and Lord whatever you want us to do let us say yes yes, yes. yes. and yes we thank you we praise you we bless your name in Jesus mighty name we pray amen amen, amen.
seek it because I need it. Amen. Amen. Bible says that those who love God, listen to, listen to just a couple of verses, y'all, that's got loving God in it. Romans 8 and 28 says, and we know. know. Yeah. It ain't a hope so, it ain't a maybe so, and we know. Help me out, y'all, that all things work together for good to them who love him. That's the only criteria. And who are called according to his purpose. Or that you love him. One of my second, one of, another one of my favorite verses is 1 Corinthians 2, and I think it's 9. It says, and eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither have they entered into the heart of men the things that God has reserved for them that love him. All you got to do is love him. All you got to do is love him. Just love him. And what you get in return is his favor, his blessings, yes. his grace, his mercy, Amen. his kindness. Yes. And you know you can mess up and you can still love him and he'll just give you a woman and bring you right on back. Amen. Because the Bible says, y'all, he chases those who are going to get a whooping. Amen. That's all right. But I dare you to hug him while he's whooping. One of my brothers had a bad habit of running to him. Amen. Mama was trying to whoop him and he hugging her. She get a couple of little licks and she realized this is kidding you, baby. And she stopped whooping him, baby. I dare you to love him and say, Lord, ouch, thank you. Ouch, hallelujah, amen. You reminded me that you love me. Lord have mercy. So my prayer, y'all, my prayer, it's a brand new year. Is that we will worship him in spirit. The word spirit in the New Testament is where we get the word pneuma, which means breath. It means that there's a, a, a degree of energy and excitement in our worship. Amen. Jesus said, the true worshipers will worship me in spirit and in truth. So it won't just be exciting and exhilarating. It'll be from their hearts. Y'all that will do that. I believe with every bone in the body, folk will get healed in the worship experience. Amen. Folk will get saved in the worship experience. They'll come in here with heavy burdens and leave with their burdens lifted. Amen. Amen. And it might be because they sit on the seat with somebody that's a crazy worshiper. Amen. You might all tell them, look here now, you ain't really intended on worshiping. Move over. Because I might let my hands out. I might lift my hands up. But you don't know how good God's been to me. Is that right, no turning? Are you in the good Oh, Old folks used to say, y'all. And it's just probably that I'll be 70 this year if the Lord allows. So I think I'll get close to being an old folk. Some folk I look at this past 70, they don't look old, but. but Amen. And, and here's what the scripture says. I was once a young man. But now I'm old. And I'm never. Hallelujah. I the righteous My granddaddy would say, y'all, that's my intention. To get what God's got for me. Amen. I don't know what you want to do. I don't know what you came to do.
she gonna change my verses. I said, Sister I get messed up quick, easy, don't mess me up. I, I told him 2 Corinthians 9 and 8. She said, You mean 8 and 9? I said, No, 9 and 8. She, she corrected me from the verses the Lord gave me. Amen, y'all. She's almost back to 100. Amen. Pray for Pastor. Don't pray for Sister Edie. All right? She's getting well. Pray for Pastor. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Happy New Year. 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 Amen. Happy New Year. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. Okay. So our announcements are as follows. There will be, um, excuse me, a Martin Luther King Day celebration here at Midtown on January 15th at 6 p.m. So we're asking all to come out and, and just celebrate with us and with the, the, the Baptist Ministers Conference, you know, the Baptist <laughs> Ministers Conference. <laughs> so come out on, on, on Martin Luther King Day and, and celebrate um, with us here at Midtown. Um, there will be choir rehearsals. Um, more information, Brother Eddie, you know about Thursday, the choir rehearsals. 6:30. Thursday 6:30. at 6.30. Mm -hmm. And is there and another one? Yes, both, both parts will be. We have to be here at the at regular choir. We have to be here at 5.30 because we have our 5.30 for the regular choir. 5.30 for the regular choir, 6.30 for us to come together for the for service. The, for the service, okay, so. Anyway, choir rehearsal. And we want to um, remember our sick and shut in for those who are not here, Sister D, and we don't want to start calling names. We'd like to see Brother Curly. Amen. 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 Thank God for healing. Amen. Amen. We'll have our annual business meeting the third Saturday of this month, which is January 20th at 12 noon. Please attend. Oh, we're asking all members to attend our annual business meeting. And as of the beginning of this month, all offices are vacated and the pastor will receive nominations and recommendations for new position holders. So see, Pastor, if you have um, any um, recommendations or anyone you would like to see at a position. Um, we'll have our annual planning meeting on Saturday, January 13th. So on 13th is the planning meeting at 1 p.m. On the 20th is the business meeting at 12 noon. Okay. And um, once again, let's just um, continue to pray for each other and, and pray for our pastor and just continue to, to just keep everyone up in prayer. And once again, Happy New Year. It's Happy New Year. New Year. Um, and just thank you, Lord, for all that you have done thus far. Amen. Amen. Amen.
to give. Yes. And I don't know, has anybody ever found God to be a liar? No. Has anybody ever found him to have made a mistake? Never. To have said, oops, I didn't think about that. Never. So if he says it is more blessed to give, yeah. and if you want God's blessing, be a giver. Amen. Amen. Would you stand, please? Somebody said, giving is to love, but living is to life. And you're really not living if you're not learning how to be giving. Amen. You, you want to fill your life with meaning and purpose. Be a giver and watch God give you back. Amen. Please follow the leading of the ushers from the real church right around. Y'all, some churches, when they do the offering, folk walk, walk down the aisle waving their gift. It's up. In other words, I'm excited to be able to give God something. Amen. I'm glad to be able to honor him with my gift. Amen. So follow the leading of the earth. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, do we still need people to get the information? Is it on there? I, I see the three ways. Yeah. Brother Joel, do we still need to make it clear? Yes. Uh, Cash App, uh, dollar sign Midtown Bible Church. One word. Dollar sign Midtown Bible Church, if you want to do it by Cash App. And the other way is by Zell. You have to dial phone number 716-400-6906. All right. Come right around. I'll do the leading of the other.
must be in the spirit. Amen. They must be let the Lord deal with them. Amen. Amen. I want to say to all of those of you who joined us this Sunday morning, Happy New Year.